So you want to start selling beats, but you don't know what direction to take. You don't know what you need. You don't know what it involves. You've got a whole heap of questions that you need answering. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is you need to start selling beats online and build a beat selling business that runs smooth, brings in new clients and builds your brand. What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. So I got a question on Insta asking me a few questions on how I run my Beats business. I was talking about PayPal, business accounts, all that stuff where if you're just starting out, you won't really know what's the best options for you or what you should be doing. So in this video, that's what we're going to cover so you can get off to a good start. So why should you listen to me? I've been selling Beats for years, registered since 2015, building up my brand and my business before that, building up clients, putting myself out there, letting people see what I do, working with people for free and building it up so now I can do that full time. Producing for over 10 years, worked with artists globally, put their music out on Spotify, and just building that overall healthy client base. So, I hope you got your pen pad ready. If not, open your apps, your notes app on your phone. I'm old school, I use pen and paper. Whatever it is, get that so you can start taking some notes. So the first thing is your domain name. It can be your producer name or your business name. So once you know that, you need to go and check its availability online. And you can do that by just going on somewhere like GoDaddy or any web hosting site that will allow you to put the name in and see if you need to use a .com, .co.uk, .org, whatever it is you're gonna choose, check the availability and how much it's gonna cost you. Bear in mind you're a business now, so you've got to start treating yourself as a business. So you're gonna start spending a little bit of money. If you haven't got no money, save some before you start diving into these things because these are all investments that you're gonna to need to make for your business to run smooth and to be taken seriously. So the first thing is the main name. Second thing is your web hosting. There's different sites that you can use. I use GoDaddy, I've been using them for years. There's a new one called Ionos. I think that's how you pronounce it. That there looks, looks quite good. The reviews have been good. Um, the pricing's good. Pricing's so good to the point that I'm even thinking of switching over to Ionos, but I need to do more research just to make sure I'm not changing just for the sake of it, just for the price. But the prices do look good on Ionos. I know some producers that use Hostgate are Bluehost, just put a quick search in Google and see which one is best for you, which price is best for you and get that up and running. Now that you've got your domain name, you've got your web hosting, now where are you going to sell your beats? For me, the top two are Airbit and BeatStars. I've been using Airbit since my flash store. That's years, years old. That was years ago. Seen a lot of success from both Airbit and BeatStars. So you decide which one's best for you. Check out the pricing. If you're not ready to pay for a monthly subscription, then look at the free options, see which one's best for you and then go from there. If you do go for the free option, you're going to be limited on certain things that you're able to do so just bear that in mind so that's the third thing you've got somewhere to sell your beats i've got to mention these sites as well airbit and beatstars now got pro pages where you can set up a whole pro page and it look like an actual website but bear in mind when you're doing this you're battling against everyone else who's on that website although the marketing from beatstars and airbit is top notch so they do drive a lot of traffic to their websites, to their platforms. So it will help you to make sales and be seen. If you want to go one step further, I would suggest getting your own website. So that's the full thing. I'm using a theme from Hip Hop Maker theme, which is just run off of a WordPress plugin. So if that's something you're interested in, bookmark that video, watch it later. So you can see how easy it is to just set up your own website. And that's through WordPress. There's Wix, there's other websites out there that are free that you're able to use and create a decent looking website. Again, do your research, type in Google, free websites, see what comes up. There's of other platforms out there or companies that will provide you plugins for Wix, WordPress, whatever it is you choose to use. So the fifth thing is embedding your Beats player onto your website. And that's the benefit of having your own website. That's the beauty of it because once you've got your own website, you can brand it up, make it look aesthetically pleasing to you and others that come to visit your site, update it when you want, change stuff and embed your Beats player, plus your pricing, new tabs if you need to, other services that you might provide, free Beats, custom Beats, mix and mastering, consultation. So you got the opportunity of having different tabs, which is what I like about it. I don't think you can get that on the pro page correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but i don't believe you can i know airbit and probably beat stars as well give you the opportunity to sell drum packs but if you're doing more than just drum packs then the website is a good choice so back to the beats player embedding your beats player you, how i had my website set up first was as soon as you land on the page the beats player is there but over time i changed it because i didn't like how it looked i wanted to have like a home page my logo just to make it feel more like a, a business rather than just here hey, oh, here you go there's, there's my beats buy some I didn't want it like that. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having your, your page like that. I've seen plenty of producers with pages like that. Selling loads of beats, and maybe maybe I should do it that way and start selling more beats, but it's cool. I like how it is. On my homepage, it's got a little section where it says work with me. Just a little paragraph of saying why artists should work with me. You can do the same. So the sixth thing, payments. How are you going to get paid? You've got beats on your website. You've got beats on Airbit, BeatStars, whatever site it is you're, you're sending beats on. How are you going to get paid? For me, that's PayPal. I've been using PayPal for years. Absolutely love PayPal. They take a cut which is 
is fine. I'm okay with that. Get that back when they do my tax return. So it's cool. Don't worry about that. Set up your PayPal, set up a business account, your business now. There's no point in you doing a, a personal account if you're running a business because when it comes to filing your taxes and stuff, this is important. You don't want to be running from the tax man because he will catch you. <laughs> Stripe, I don't know too much about Stripe. I know some people like to use Stripe, Western Union, just whatever works for you, you do that. Research, this is an ongoing thing. You're going to be researching. You're going to always be learning. You're going to always be trying new things. So you've got your PayPal. You're going to need a bank account. You're going to need a business account. Find one that suits you, your needs, something that you can afford monthly so that all your payments, all the money that you earn, all your beat sales, you can just put it in your business business account or you can leave it in your PayPal and anything you spend you can take it out of that business account don't make the same mistake as what I have where I'm using personal accounts to pay for business stuff and then yeah just don't do that it gets messy and it's when it comes to filing your taxes in April <sighs> hard work there's a little bonus tip as well keep on top of your finances all your beat sales write them down whatever sales you make for your business write them down incoming whatever you spend outgoings write it all down as soon as it comes in as soon as it goes out i've learned the hard way still struggle today a little bit not putting stuff down when i need to and then when it comes to doing my self-assessment return yeah it gets messy so yeah just keep on top of it if you can so the seventh thing services and pricing what services are you offering What's your pricing? How are you going to price it? The best thing I can say to you is price it so that it's fair for you. If, you. if you're just starting out and you don't know how to price your beats, check out my video on how to price your beats. But what I've learned over time is it's called selling beats for $19, $30. But you have to remember there's a ton of producers with the same price. If your beats are popping, I mean, absolute fire and you're confident in them, then you can go a little higher because once when you do that, you're kind of taking yourself away from the noise of all the other producers that are battling and fighting for that space so you can kind of take yourself out of that space but if you're not there yet if you're not ready to go to that 40 50 dollar price point that's fine just start off on your 19 to 30 dollar lease beats and grow from there so the eighth thing agreements i don't really like to call it contracts i just i prefer to call it agreements you know when you say contract it feels a bit feels stifling i don't want an artist or anyone that i work with to feel stifled it's an agreement we've discussed it you're happy with it i'm happy with it it's cool what should you consider what does the artist get is royalties involved how much percentage little things like that you can write manual agreements you can find agreements online with airbit when you sell a beat lease or exclusive it will be automatically emailed to the the licensee is what was what they call them the artist i'm not sure how beat stars do their thing but if you go into airbit it gives you the opportunity to change the units that can be streamed sold you can change anything that you need to in this agreement it gives you a nice template to go off and you can work from that if you're unsure of exactly how to write these agreements so the ninth thing you need to put in place to run your business is your social media what's your social media accounts like are you active are you posting every other day are you posting once a week what is it you're doing for artists to see you to hear your beats to hear what you have to deliver the quality of your beats your style your flavor how you, what are you doing to attract them so make sure you have your social medias popping your insta your twitter your facebook your youtube whatever it is that you feel comfortable with then then make sure you've got that set up and active i also like to mention as well building a mailing list by doing this you can market to those that are on your mailing list instead of just relying on these third party platforms the third party platforms to to market it's a good way for you to build your fan base. It's a good way to connect with those that do decide to jump on your mailing list. And you'd have somewhere that you can just continue to promote your new beats, give content, whatever it is you're doing to build your brand. A mailing list is important. I forgot to add that. So yeah, just put that down in your, in your notes as well. So the 10th thing that you need to run your business and for it to be successful is patience. You're gonna need to be patient it's not gonna happen overnight. Unless you're an outlier, it's not gonna happen overnight. You're gonna have to put some work in. You're gonna have to be patient. You're gonna have to let it grow, let it build, and it will. If you're talented and you're not consistent, then the talent's useless. Be patient, be consistent, be adaptive, be cool, be approachable, be that person that makes it easy for an artist to come and connect with and vibe with. You don't have to do that, but that's, this is what works for me. Reach out to artists that you wanna work with. Don't be shy, get out there, do your thing, be seen, and put out good works. If you've been told beat selling's dead, you've been lied to. It's not dead. I still sell leases. But most of my beat sales come from custom beats that I make for artists and beat remakes. So yeah, don't believe that it's dead. Get that out of your head because it's not true. Do these things to build your business, build your beat selling business and make it successful. See you in the next video.